What's up guys, welcome to your 126th Android, Android tutorial for the new Boston. Uh, what we're going to do in this tutorial, I'm basically going to talk about these uh, two classes, or these two methods, and also uh, set up our accelerometer. So we have two methods that get implemented when we ex implement uh, the sensor event listener. Um, the on accuracy changed, and also the on sensor changed. Now for example, we're just going to have our ball move around the, on the screen, when our sensor changes. So we're basically going to only work with this on sensor changed. Uh, this gets called when we have a new uh, sensor event. When our accelerometer changes directions or whatever, it's going to call this method. Um, this accuracy change, that's just going to kind of test the accuracy of the changed uh, event for the most part. We aren't really going to deal with that, like I said. But now what we need to do is we need to set up our sensor manager. Um, basically, we're going to check if uh, the device has a accelerometer. Um, and as of now, I believe most most of the the Android phones uh, have the accelerometer. But uh, just to make sure, we're going to check for it. And how we do that is we do sensor manager within our on create method. Sensor manager, and we're just going to call this sensor manager sm, and we're going to set equal to after we import we're going to set it equal to uh, sensor manager and then we're going to say uh, get the system service which we've used before well can't spell and then we're going to say the context dot and we have an option called sensor service now that we have our manager set up, we're going to re refer to the manager uh, to basically check if the accelerometer exists. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say sm.getSensorList. As you can see, you use this method to get a list of available sensors of a certain type. So we're going to click that, and then we're going to refer to the sensor class uh, to tell it what kind of sensor we're looking for. So we say dot, and then we see, have these options, uh, type accelerometer, light, pressure, temperature, all different types of sensors that might be available. So we're going to hit that and then after that we're going to say dot size. When we use this size method, if this statement is equal to zero, that means there's no sensor available. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an if statement and then we're going to say as long as this is not equal to zero, uh, we're going to do whatever within these brackets. And then we just have to finish off our if statement uh, like that. So make sure all our brackets are set in there. All right, just formatted it. So now, uh, basically, we've checked from our system manager if the accelerometer exists. And if it does, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a sensor. So we set up our sensor, and we're going to call this sensor like S, something like that. <clears throat> what we're going to set this equal to is uh, refer to our manager that we set up. So sm dot, again, get sensor list. And within the type, again, we're just going to say sensor uh, dot type accelerometer again. And this time, instead of saying the size, we're just going to say get. And as you can see, it takes an int location. So we're just going to say zero here, and that's fine. Kind of setting up our initial our initial spot. So now we're going to kind of register our sensor and our manager and all that stuff. So we're going to refer to our sen sensor manager. Then we're just going to say register listener, and we're going to choose this third or the second option here, where we take a sensor event listener, a sensor, and an int uh, for the rate. So for our listener, what we're going to do is we're going to say set this equal to our uh, the context of this, and for our sensor, we're going to refer to the sensor we just set up as S, and for our rate, we can refer to our sensor manager or sensor manager class. And we can pull different rates that is going to update our sensor because sometimes we don't want to update as fast as possible. And you know, they have different rates of how quickly your sensor is going to try and update or process the information. So if you have an application you want to update as fast as you can, you can choose like this fastest, which you probably don't need. Uh, we're just going to choose sensor delay normal, you know, uh, because this application is going to be somewhat normal. And then we're just going to hit finish. 
and we are pretty much done with this tutorial guys uh, and also this just to let you guys know this can be uh, this is a boolean value type statement so you can set up like a checking whether this returns true or false if you want but uh, there we go we're pretty much done with this tutorial guys and I'll catch you in the next one have a good one <laughs>